Hello everyone and welcome back to day 25 of the Gamer Crafting Vlogtober series. The clocks went back last night slash this morning and I'm sat here wondering if we really actually need an extra hour of 2020. <laughs> Do we really need an extra hour of 2020? My guess is probably not. Uh, that is something that somebody, a few people actually said in last night's uh, live stream. Um, at which point I should probably mention that this Saturday, which is Halloween the 31st, we are having like a Halloween party on uh, on YouTube on a live stream. We will be touring various folks uh, Animal Crossing spooky islands and we will be just kind of chilling out. We will be doing some prizes and some giveaways and stuff. It's going to be really fun. Um, as for me, I'm drinking a lovely tea in my nerdy mug. <laughs> Um, I got a new sampler pack from Bird and Blend Tea, um, and in the sampler pack I got, um, it's called Peppermint Cream, and I really like mint tea anyway, so this is almost always going to be a winner for me, and oh boy it is. Like it just fills me with a lot of joy. <laughs> um, I also tried their new uh, pumpkin pie spice. It is a chai, it is delicious and wonderful and fills me with a lot of joy as well, but I try not to drink stuff with caffeine later in the day because then I'll just be up all night <laughs> stressing and being a little bit too anxious. I have to be careful with that caffeine intake. So woo! so I tend to stick to the non-caffeinated stuff um, past like noon or so. Uh, anyway, so I just kind of wanted to quickly chat. Um, I did not post a vlog yesterday by the time I remembered that I was supposed to do a vlog yesterday. It was about 20 minutes before uh, before we were set to start live streaming and then after the fact it was, you know, after 11, so it just wasn't gonna happen. Um, but if you're wondering what I did do yesterday, I, what did I do yesterday? I did a lot of work yesterday, I basically spent the whole day working. And that's not meant for you to be like, oh, <laughs> poor Angie, poor Andy Dyer working on a Saturday. Obviously lots of people work on a Saturday. <laughs> that's not special. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, the, realities of things sometimes but um i got it yesterday and i was doing a bunch of dyeing um but it's all club yarn so that's why i couldn't show you any uh because obviously that would be a spoiler if you're wondering what happened to our clubs the last couple of months we basically had to close clubs to people who aren't already subscribers due to yarn shortages etc and also we've been having major issues with getting extras in on time because of postage delays which has been an issue since march but i was able to kind of like fudge it a little bit, but as we get closer to the end of the year, I don't want to be doing that because it's stressful. <laughs> and we have a lot more stuff going out this time of year, uh, especially with the advent calendars and stuff that takes a lot of extra effort. So we had to close clubs to outside subscribers, and we're kind of maybe thinking about revamping clubs a little bit for next year, for 2021, to make it so that clubs are a little bit more exciting, they're, you know, maybe a bit more bulked out, like we have a bit more time to prepare for them and we have a bit more time to order in some really cool extras rather than having to kind of race at the end of the month to try and get stuff, you know, ordered and then get it in and stuff. And the, the thing is that we can't order that stuff super early because then sometimes we'll end up with like huge excesses if that particular club theme doesn't go over so well. Uh, I still have some stitch markers and like bits and bobs from stuff because I did do that early on and that just turned out to be not a super financially viable way of running clubs if you're just curious about that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I dyed a whole bunch of yarn yesterday to try and catch up a little bit. We're not like behind behind, but for me I feel behind because I know that we have advent calendars to do probably next week and the airing tower, the heating tower, is kind of struggling to keep up with all of the extra yarn we've had in there. I figured out there's nothing wrong with it. Um, <laughs> it is still heating, but it's because we have so much extra yarn in there, it's taking a lot longer, um, which I guess I didn't realize how much I was putting in there until I went to pull some stuff out yesterday, and I was like, that's probably why, when I've got like three times as much in here. Uh, so I, yeah, I dyed a whole bunch of yarn, and then I watched Practical Magic by myself. <laughs> 90s witchy cheese is not uh, Sarah's jam, as they say. So I watched Practical Magic and I started twisting up um, Advent Calendar Minis. Well, I say I started. Sarah has already started, um, but we tend to kind of um, portion it out equally between the two of us. So I started my batch um, yesterday. And as a result, my arms are pretty sore today. 
feel like I did like a really intense workout yesterday and I was just twisting just like uh, several hundred mini skeins, which if you realize, like you have to twist them a lot more. I think we usually do about like, I don't know, maybe five or six twists on a hundred gram skein, but it's more like 11 or 12 for a mini skein. So that said, uh, I did that for a couple of hours and then what did I do? And then we had the live stream. That was basically my whole day, dying a whole bunch of yarn. And then, oh, I did a bunch of cleaning as well, which is uh, boring and unfun. That said, um, today I had my Sunday writing group, which is a delight. If you are tuning in for the first time, which I don't know why you would be on the very first. I, anyway, my point is, is that if you didn't know, I do write books as well, or at least I attempted to. So I did my Sunday morning writing group and that was a delight. And then I worked on some other projects and then I finally wound up this yarn that I've been meaning to all month to wind it up and cast on. But I always tell myself, oh, like I'm gonna knit so many socks since October and always kind of forget how much extra work things like advent calendars are and how much busier things get and how much busier I get, how much more yarn I'm dyeing and packing and uh, you know, how much busier everything gets in general. <laughs> and then I get towards the end of the month and I think, how come I didn't do more knitting this month? Uh, cause you were doing lots of other stuff, you dork. Uh, anyway, so I finally wound up, um, this is from Third Vault Yarns and I bought this at Unravel, not this past February, but a year ago February. Um, Unravel this past February was my last social outing before lockdown. <laughs> and so I'm really glad that I went because I was kind of waffling. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go. And I was like, oh, you know, I don't know if I can be bothered to go. Like, it's kind of a pain to get down there if you're not driving. And I'm really glad that I went because that was the last time that I got to see um, people that I really enjoy spending time with. So I'm definitely glad that I went. Anyway, so this is from, uh, I guess, what, a year and a half ago now? And this is her Starfire shade. This is um, her self-striping companion sock, I believe. Um, the tag is inside somewhere. You'll notice that these balls aren't the same size, and that's because I got to about... I think I got to about 45 grams, and I was like, meh, good enough. I'm splitting them into even balls so that I can cast on with both of them at the same time, because it was one of those super, super long um, hanks of yarn, which uh, we have some on order, and we're going to be doing some fun stuff. Um, very soon, hopefully. But anyway, so <laughs> I had mine hanging off the back of a door and I was winding it that way. Uh, so that's why they're sort of uneven, but I don't usually use a whole 50 grams per sock anyway, so I figure it's probably fine. And I also didn't pay too much attention to where I was stopping, you know, with the color repeat because, I don't know, I sort of like having vaguely mismatched socks. This is coming from a woman who never matches socks anyway, I just kind of like reach in with my eyes closed and just pull out two socks and as long as they're vaguely similar it's fine so anyway this was uh her starfire shade she doesn't have any in stock right now i don't think but she does have other self-striping colorways in stock so i will link that down below but i think i'm going to cast these on tonight because 2020 is kind of a garbage fire and i'm just gonna self-medicate and <laughs> with tons of new projects between all of the art supplies that I'm ordering and things that I'm casting on, which I've decided I think I am going to cast on a chunky weight garment, um, maybe a cardigan or something uh, for the sort of tail end of the year, uh, knitting or crochet, maybe I'll do crochet, although chunky weight crochet will take a, quite a lot and I still have a blanket to finish, which is, it's looking at me from the inside, I can see it on the couch through the window. <laughs> I do have to finish my Blanket Club blanket, so I should probably be working on that tonight, not casting on two socks, but... Um, so I did go ahead and I ordered a couple of extra pairs of the Knit Pro Zings. Um, I really like them for, for sock knitting, and I, I do prefer Haya Hayas, but I, they cost more, first of all, and second of all, I know that there's pairs somewhere. I think that they're probably in a project that I have forgotten about. Maybe some abandoned socks somewhere, which is probably the most likely location as to where they could potentially be. <laughs> uh, so I, I just went ahead and I did get myself a couple more pairs because I did discover some other self-striping sock yarn that I really want to cast on at some point in the next month or so. I'm just gonna have like 14 socks on <laughs> on the go. I don't know if any of you saw, there was somebody on Instagram, I don't remember who it was, a while back, who was doing like 
I don't, it was something obscene, like 14 or 20 pairs of socks all at the same time. And I, I don't know if I'm different, right? So they were all like different, um, like each pair was like a different ball of yarn or something. And I was like, I admire that kind of bravery, but I'm not about that life. And that would, like, that would just stress me out. Like, just looking at it would stress me out. I need to be able to put things in project bags and forget about them for a while. Um, but yeah, so I think I am gonna, I'm gonna cast these on today and that's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna finish my tea and I think we're gonna just kind of chill out tonight. Maybe we're gonna watch, we might watch a spooky movie as we're getting a bit closer to Halloween. I still need to carve a pumpkin, which I guess I'll have to do at some point this week. At some point this week amidst the billions of other things that need to get done. Although I will say I also repaired a shower head yesterday or rather I replaced the shower head, um, which, uh, Obviously, it's not like the most impressive home improvement project anyone's ever done, but you know, still got it done. <laughs> Have I changed the lights, the halogen lights in the bathroom that have been out for two months? No. Is the ladder still in the bathroom? Yes. Have I changed the lights yet? No. Changed the sour head though, not the lights. <laughs> Which is hilarious because if you think about it, changing the lights would take a lot less time than changing the shower head, but the shower head, like, it wasn't even broken. I just replaced it because the old one was getting, like, you know, you know how they get. Like, the cords get a bit weird, you know, the shower hose cords. Anyway, that's enough about shower heads. I'm gonna leave it there for today because I'm gonna go and edit this and I'm just gonna get some pictures to post up on Instagram and just kind of see how things go for the rest of the evening. And I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I'm a little bit out of it, just, just slightly out of it. Anyway, so tomorrow there's going to be, um, I have a lot more. I have to basically I have to finish all of the club dyeing tomorrow, which should be fine because I got probably like two thirds of it done this weekend. I did dye some this morning as well, but now it has to go into the tower um, and I need to get it done tomorrow. Otherwise it won't be ready to go out on Thursday, which it really needs to be because it's the end of the month. So. I definitely need to uh, sort the rest of the clubs out tomorrow and finish back orders. I'm going to pack up some stuff. Like, it's going to be a busy day, but it's fine, she said to herself, hoping that it actually was fine. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for y'all. I will be back tomorrow with hopefully some interesting content. Oh, I meant to say, sorry, I keep trying to end this and then forgetting that I should say things. That cider I was making the other day turned out horribly. <laughs> it was truly a fail. It, it's probably user error on my part that maybe I didn't follow the recipe totally as maybe I should have, but it ended up tasting kind of like watery cinnamon rather than tasting like anything resembling an apple. So that was kind of a bummer. Um, I have like frozen parts of it to use in like, I don't know, a recipe at some point. I just feel weird wasting it. So that was not a success, unfortunately. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to try and find some other means to fill the apple cider shaped hole in my life and until then I'm just gonna drink lovely tea instead. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow.